Hello everyone, I'm Andrew Can, joined with Dean Nimmin, and we're going to teach you how to use TubeBuddy on a mobile device. Hello everyone, I'm going to teach you how to use TubeBuddy on your Android device. And I'm going to teach you how to do it on your iPhone. So Dee, why don't we go ahead and get started with installing it, so take the lead. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is go into the App Store, and we're going to type for TubeBuddy, one word. That is a common thing that we're seeing, and if you're ever confused, you can go to www.tubebuddy.com slash mobile, and it'll have all the instructions we're showing here today in written form. So I've typed in TubeBuddy, and it's the first result. Awesome. Yep. I'm going to tap the little download icon. I'm going to wait for it to download. And while he's doing that, the only difference for Android is you're going to go to the Google Play Store. Okay, so now we've installed TubeBuddy and it's actually on our phone. So we're gonna tap on it and you're gonna go through a process where Google's gonna ask you to log in using your username or password. You're gonna do that, you're gonna log in and you're gonna be taken to a page that's gonna ask you to select a channel. So that's what you're gonna do next. And similar to on the desktop, you just need to add and select the right channel for you. Some emails have multiple channels, so just make sure you have the right channel selected. Once you add your channel, you'll see what is populated. Dee, what do you notice immediately? Okay, well, once all the data loads into TubeBuddy, what's gonna happen is in the very top, you're gonna see your subscriber count. It's gonna be your live, real-time subscriber count. And here's a little tip. Once everything loads up, if you wanna see what it is real-time after your comments or anything else, all you have to do is just tap the number on top. You don't have to read, you don't have to pull down and scroll and let it reload, just simply tap the number and it's gonna reload the live subscriber count. And it'll say whatever subscribers you gain, whether it's plus one, plus five, plus 100, it'll be in real time at your fingertips. Right, now this is the part that I'm actually addicted to. Really? Yeah, I'm ashamed to say it, but like this is my, my dirty little thing. Here. So, <laughs> so if I go to the bathroom, if I, even if I have to use the bathroom during a movie, I go to the bathroom, pull out two buddy, subscriber count, and I'm looking at my view count, right? I but wake up, subscriber count, view count. <laughs> but this is a lot more than just your subscriber and view count. We also have a lot of other tools that are also on the desktop version. So why don't we kind of cover some of those tools? So what's your favorite tool? So I'd have to say my favorite tool on the go is our canned responses. So if you hit the little, in the top left-hand corner, you'll see three lines. Then you can see your channel name, tab explorer, topic planner, can responses, and tag list. Just click on canned responses. And I have a lot already preloaded, so we'll switch over to my view, where you can kind of see the ones I have. I actually loaded mine back up. See? Actually, that was in the new update. So it used to not load your canned responses if you don't install TubeBuddy. Let's say you're switching devices. We have since then rectified that, so now no matter where you get to, buddy, it'll show. Now, if you don't know what a canned response is, this is amazing if you get a lot of engagement. It basically allows you to preload comments. And when somebody loads a comment and they say, hey, great video, you can, have a, you can go in and preload all of your comments and you can just go in and you can select a preload of comment and you can reply to them without actually typing it out. And then from the comment page, which TubeBuddy has native on the app, you can then go in and add in that cam response, saving you a lot of time because a lot of creators get the same question over and over. So it can be very time consuming to take time to go ahead and reply to each comment one by one. Yeah, it can be very time consuming. If you're getting hundreds or even thousands of comments, your thumbs are gonna be worn out and you're gonna wish you had canned responses. Now, it's, you don't always want to use can responses. What I find works the best is I like to use a little bit of a can response to show their username, go thanks whoever I'm talking to, and then right. I type in the custom message. Right, yeah, exactly. The next thing I want to kind of take a look at, and I know you love this feature, and a lot of our users love this, is our Tag Explorer tool. Okay, how do you use it? So, similar to how you get to can responses, you're going to click on those three lines, and then immediately go to Tag Explorer. Now, if you've used TubeBuddy on the desktop, it's the exact same idea, but just in a simplified version on the go. So what tag do you think we should look up? We talk, what We're about talking about phones today and mobile apps, so let's talk about hmm, three mobile apps all YouTubers need. Absolutely. Let's see where that takes us. So while we're typing this in, let us know in the comments below, do you use the TubeBuddy mobile app and what is your favorite feature? We always are curious to your answers. And what you'll see is it'll automatically populate with your search volume, your competition, and your overall score. Very similar to how we have it on desktop, but what this means for you is that if you want to look for tags, you want things that are searched frequently but have less competition. Now, this tag in our in mind says very good and has a score yeah, of 76. Absolutely, YouTubers, it's pretty good. Yeah. So, what you're going to want to do then is right under it. Why don't you explain what you see under? Uh, right underneath it here, I see apps for YouTubers, 
best apps for YouTubers. And it gives you a bunch of variation. So if you're going for keyword phrases, you don't always want to just go for one keyword. You want to go for a series of phrases because people might actually type it in differently. Right? And that's so true. Right. But apps, oh, sorry. Go ahead. No. no. I was just going to tell you some of the options it's giving me. Apps for YouTubers, best apps for YouTubers, apps for YouTube creators, apps every YouTuber must have, best app for YouTubers, and so on and so forth. And one thing I'm noticing is when we're looking through it, we're seeing, we're also seeing some that are like best apps. It's always up to you, the creator, to decide what tags work best for you. Right. And the cool thing is, if you see the phrases that you want or the keywords that you want, all you have to do is go through and you tap them, all the ones that you want, and at the bottom you're going to see a blue copy to button. You tap on that and it's going to give you the option to save it to a clipboard or a tag list. And the cool thing about saving it to a tags list is once you save it on a tag list on your phone, next time you go on your desktop and click tags list, it'll be there waiting for you. Yeah, that's, that's a cool feature actually. And I love that feature. And speaking of features that... Two buddies like the lazy man's app. Absolutely, because <laughs> as creators, the last thing we want to do is do something on the go, then right. have to do it all over again. Right, so we right. wanted to save that time. Speaking right. of saving that time, why don't you tell them about the topic planner and teach the, them how to get there. Too. Okay, the topic planner is a fantastic tool. Once again, you go up to the top left and you go down to topic planner. So you tap on that and then you're going to see add topic. What this allows you to do is add a topic on the go. So let's say we had a conversation about the three best mobile apps that all YouTubers should have. Well, that's okay. a great topic for you, right? Right. Fantastic. So what you're going to want to do is title that video that and then you can talk about more details. So you learned that that is something that would be interesting to your channel. But what if you wanted to do something different? Let's say you wanted to shoot it at an event like we're doing now. Right. So that gives you all those details. So similar to what we mentioned before with what you can do with your tags list and syncing, you can save your video topics on the go to your desktop so when you're writing your scripts or you're doing whatever you do, you can have it there because having it on the go and on the desktop is crucial to creating because the last thing you want to do is have something great on your phone but be limited to your phone. Right. And if you actually put it on your phone, it's going to sync to your desktop. Yes. If you put it on your desktop, it's going to sync to your phone. It's Both a ways. fantastic feature. And even now, especially during convention season, you may want to be able to show someone something you're working on at a glance, but you're like, oh no, it's on my computer. Right. Well, look what happened. I reinstalled the app so I could download it and show you how to do it, and everything was saved on the desktop, and it repopulated all the canned responses. Yes. Everything's just right back into my phone, so if you need to reinstall the app, everything's right there. And you know what? That's pretty much it for today's video. D, thank you so much for coming on the TubeBuddy channel and just showing us how to use the app. So many people wanted you back on since all the live streams, and we're happy to have you. Anything you would like to say to our viewers? Yeah, I'd say if you don't have TubeBuddy installed on your phone or your desktop, put it in there. It is a game changer. Remember, everyone, I'm Andrew Camp from TubeBuddy. And I'm Dean Nimmin. If you want to learn more about how to use your mobile devices to the full potential, click on Dee's channel to the right. If you want to learn more about how you can grow and optimize a YouTube channel, please consider subscribing to the TubeBuddy channel here and hitting that bell notification icon to stay up to date on all things TubeBuddy. Awesome.